Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. And today we're going to tie a bead head turkey tail. The hook I have in the vise is a general purpose hook. It's a size 12 and this is a 2.3 millimeter bead I have on there. I'm going to use black thread. I'm going to start behind the bead and put the base of thread down. Hold that thread at the 45 degree angle and your wraps will touch and we're going to stop we don't want to go around that bend for much so we're going to stop just before the barb for the tail we're going to use turkey tail bias and I have about six of them here and this is going to be a small fly so we're going to keep that tail about just about the length of the hook shank. I'm going to tie that off. Put a couple of turns just to hold it there. Now we're going to take fine copper wire. We're going to tie that in. And we're going to wind this up Oh, about half, a little bit more than half, and that's going to be our wing case. I'm going to bring my thread back to the rear. I'm going to take a single turkey biot, and I snipped a little bit off the front there. We don't need it so much so thin as the tail section. We're going to wrap that in and bring that up to the wing case. Now you can take just a small amount of head cement or super glue or you don't even need to because we have the rib on there. I'm just going to put a small amount on there though. I'm going to take my hackle pliers and put it on the turkey tail and we're going to wrap this, whoop, came out. You have to be careful, just tie that back in once again. And bring that back up. And we're going to wrap this forward. And you want to keep that turkey biot flat. we actually want there to be the ridge coming up coming up you can see the it looks like gills on the nymph and wrap that right up to the wing case and tie that off Get one wrap to hold it down and then you can wrap it a few times in front of that wing case and then remove the excess keep that bead out of your way I'm going to take the rib and I'm going to counter wrap it This is going to give it a little bit of color, but its job is to hold that turkey biot in place. And secure that. And you can go ahead and remove the excess. Now I'm going to take a little bit of uh, some natural dubbing and here I have a little bit of the uh, tannish to brownish awesome possum dubbing I want that natural color of like a cottontail or the natural color of a rabbit we're gonna wrap a small 
small noodle right there. Pull that wing case back and come back just a little bit. And then wrap that the rest of that in. Now I'm going to take a partridge feather and I remove the tip of it. And we're going to put it on there and measure that up. You see, we have way too much here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some of that off or pull it towards the back. Even just a little bit more there. And it's coming off pretty easy. Let's go ahead and remove that. We're going to take that. We're going to hold them, split that with the wing case, push those fibers to the bottom, and secure that in place. Take your turkey, take that wing case and pull it over. I'm holding the stem in with the wing case and we give that a couple of wraps to tighten that up and we're going to remove that excess Take our whip finish, give it about three whip finish turns, tighten that up, remove that, put a little bit of head cement. You have a large gap, a large bite on this hook, but it's a size 12 and we have about a size 14 or even a 15 in the nymph size. I'm going to put some right on the head on the bead and put some on the wing case. And here we have a bead head turkey tail. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all thank you very much for watching my videos.